now let us discuss about 4 bit bcd to xs3 converter so bcd means binary coded decimal we have 10 bc digits from 0 to 9 uh, this is the truth table here first column represents bcd digits from 0 to 9 so 10 decimal numbers from 0 to 9 second column represents input that is bcd number it is represented using 4 bits b3 b2 b1 b0 and the third column represents xs3 code uh, it is represented using 4 bits such as e3 e2 e1 e0 so here bcd means input number whereas xs3 means output number okay uh, so first here we, uh, we have to represent uh, the bcd number in 8421 notation so zero means all zeros Simply we are following 8421 8, notation only in order to represent 10 digits from 0 to 9. So 1 means 3001, 2 means 0010, 3 means it is a sum of 2 and 1. So 0011, 4 means 0100, so 5 means sum of 4 and 1, so 0101, 6 means sum of 4 and 2, 0110, 7 means sum of 421, 0111, 8 means uh, 1 triple 0, 9 means sum of 8 and 1, so 1 double 0, 1. Now let us obtain XS3 code. XS3 code means simply we have to add 3 to BCD number. Okay. So here what is the number here? 0. 0 plus 3 means 3. So how we can represent 3 in 8421 notation? 0, 0, 1, 1. Next number 1. So simply add 3, decimal number 3 to the corresponding number. So 1 plus 3 means 4. Next, uh, 4 means 0, 1, double 0 in 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. Next, uh, next to 2 means uh, 2. How to get XS3 for 2? Simply add 3 to 2. So 2 plus 3 means 5. So we can represent 5 with the help of 0, 1, 0, 1. So likewise, if you take 6, how to get XS3 for 6? Simply add 3 here. So 6 plus 3 means 9. How to represent 9 in 8, 4, 2, 1 notation? 1, double 0, 1. 1, double 0, 1. If you take 9 here, how to get XS3 for 9? 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 means 12. How we can represent 12 in 8421 notation? 1, 1, double 0. Okay. Uh, so the truth table is over. Next, we have to derive the expressions for output codes, output bits such as E3, E2, E1 and E0. So let us derive first for E3. E3, here what are the inputs here? BCD number. So totally we have 4 inputs. So B3, B2 are nothing but left hand side bits. Next B1, B0, right hand side bits. So simply here we are using 4 variable Karnoff map. Okay. So 4 variable Karnoff map means we will get 2 power 4. That is 16 combinations. But here B series number means we, will, we can represent only 10 digits from 0 to 9. So remaining digits are nothing but don't cates. So we know how to represent uh, uh, min terms. So this cell represents 0, 1, 2, 3. Next 4, 5, 6, 7. Next 8, 9. I am sorry. So last row. 8, 9, 10, 11. Next 12, 13, 14, 15. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here we can represent only from 0 to 9. So from 10 to 15 or nothing but don't cares. Don't cares. Why? Because we don't know what is the output for those combinations. So we have only 10 BCD digits from 0 to 9. Uh, for remaining combinations, the output is don't care. We don't know what is the output. It may be either 0 or 1. Okay. So here for 10, the output is 1. Next to for 11, output is 1. Next to for 12, for min term 12, output is 1. For 13, output is don't care. I am sorry. For 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the output is don't care. So here also 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, for these uh, 6, the output is don't care. We don't know what is the output. Okay. Why? Because we can have only 10 BC digits from 0 to 9. We don't have remaining combinations from 10 to 15. So for those combinations, the output is don't care. Okay. So write don't care here in all these six cells. So write don't care here. Write don't care. 
now first let us evaluate for e3 e3 so for this combination the output is 1 0 1 0 1 output is 1 0 1 0 1 output is 1 next 0 1 1 0 output is 1 0 1 1 0 output is 1 next 0 1 1 1 output is 1 output is 1 next 0 1 1 1 is 4 1 0 0 0 output is 1 1 0 0 0 output is 1 next 1 0 0 1 output is 1 1 0 0 1 output is 1 okay so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 ones so 1 2 3 4 5 ones so now we have to cover those 5 ones it is our choice we may cover don't care or we may we may not cover don't care there is no problem so what we can do here what we can do uh, in order to cover these two ones yeah we can make these eight cells as one group why because if the group contains more number of ones then the term should contain less less number of variables here the group has eight ones uh, two ones and six don't care so this group will produce less number of variables okay so here what is the min term here 1110 so first one is common so what is first one here b3 plus uh, here b1 b0 values are changing so there is no need to consider them okay next in order to cover these two ones we can combine these four cells into one group in order to cover these two ones we can combine these four cells into one group here one is uh, one is common here so what is one here b2 b2 next if we observe these two cells second one is common what is second one here what is second one b0 b0 so b2 b0 plus next in order to cover this one so the only way is we can combine these four cells into one group okay we can combine these four cells into one group uh, so here one is common what is one here b2 what is one here b2 b2 uh, next here, here here also the first one is common what is first one b1 what is first one b1 so this is the simplified expression for e3 so likewise we have to evaluate for e2 e1 and e0 also if we observe e2 column so here we have one so what is this combination 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 next 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 next to 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 uh, next 0 1 double 0 1 0 1 double 0 1 0 1 double 0 1 uh, next these four ones are covered next we have last one 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 so 1 0 0 1 1 okay so what we can do here so this is the column here this is the column so this 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 is nothing but 0 0 0 1 0 0 yeah what is this cell yeah. yeah let us focus on this column so what is the what is the first one 0 0 0 1 so this is nothing but 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 next to 0 0 1 0 yeah let us write one more time here so what is first one here 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 next to second one 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 next this third one 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 next this fourth one 0 1 double 0 0 1 double 0 next the last one 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 uh, we know that here the group it must be in the form of powers of 2 so we can't make three cells or six cells as one group group may contain 16 ones or 8 ones or 4 ones or uh, 2 ones or 0 ones so what we can do is we can make these four cells as one group why because 0 0 1 0 are nothing but adjacent cells they differ by only one variable if we observe these two 0 0 1 0 second 0 is common what is second 0 b2 bar what is second 0 b2 bar if we observe these two cells second one is common what is second one b0 b0 plus what is second one b0 next we can make we can make these four cells into one group okay we can combine these four cells into one group so here also second zero is common what is second zero b2 bar b2 bar if you observe these two cells first one is common what is first one b1 b1 plus 
Next, we can combine these two cells into one group. We can combine these two cells into one group. Here, the first one is common. What is first one? B2. What is first one? B2. Next here, 0, 0. So, 0, 0 means B1 bar, B0 bar. B1 bar, B0 bar. Okay. So, this is the simplified expression for E2. So, now let's check for E1. Let's check for E1. What is the first combination? All zeros 1. All zeros 1. Next, second one, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, next one, 0, 1, double, 0, 1. 0, 1, double, 0, 1. Next one, 0, 1, double, 1, 1. 0, 1, double, 1, 1. 0, 1, double, 1, 1. Next, last one, 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So, here also we have 5 ones. So, 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. Okay. So, here we can combine these 4 cells into one group. We can combine these 4 cells into one group. Okay. So, what is the expression here? Here, B3, B2 values are changing. So, there is no need to consider them. Uh, 0, 0. So, 0, 0 means B1 bar, B0 bar. B1 bar, B0 bar. B1 bar, B0 bar. So, here also B3, B2 values are changing. So, there is no need to consider them. Uh, 1, 1. So, 1, 1 means B1, B0. 1, 1 means B1, B0. Okay. So, this is the simplified expression for E1. Now, let us focus on E0. E0. So, here we have 1. All zeros, 1. Next, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, next one, 0, 1, double, 0, 1. 0, 1, double, 0, 1. So, next one, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Next, last one, 1, 3, bull, 0. So, 1, 3, bull, 0, 1. 1, 3, bull, 0, 1. So, here we have uh, 0, 0, 1, 0 are nothing but uh, uh, adjacent cells. Why? Because they differ by only one variable that is B1. So, what we can do is we can combine these 8 cells into one group. Okay. Uh, here the B3, B2 values are changing. So, there is no need to consider them. If you observe 0, 0, 1, 0, second 0 is common. What is second 0? B0. What is second 0? B0. What is second 0? Yeah, B0. So, this is the simplified expression for E0. Now, let us draw the logic circuit diagram. Let us draw the logic circuit diagram. So, here uh, converter means our major focus will be on the logic circuit diagram. So, in order to draw the logic circuit diagram, we need expressions. So, for expressions, we are using Carnot map. Uh, in order to fill the Carnot map, we need the truth table. So, here what are the inputs here? B3, B2, B1 and B0 are the inputs. So, the first two input is B3, B3 and here we need complement also. So, for complement we are using this symbol. This symbol represents B3 bar, B3 bar. Next, this symbol is, uh, this line represents B2, this line represents uh, B2 bar. Next, this line represents B1, next this line represents uh, B1 bar, next B0, B0. Next, this line represents uh, B0 bar, B0 bar. So, first let us see the expression for the E3. What is the expression for E3? B3. So, this line represents uh, B3 plus B2, B0. So, we need to perform under operation on B2, B0. So, this line represents B2. This line represents B0. So, B2, B0. Simply perform the under operation. Perform the under operation. Next, B2, B1, B2, B1. So, this line represents B2, this line represents B1. So, B2, B1. So, perform the under operation. We need to perform R operation, okay. We need to perform R operation on these three variables, okay. Let us perform R operation. So, this is nothing but output of E3, E3 expression. Likewise, let us see for E2. What is the formula for E2? B2 bar B0. So, this line represents B2 bar. This line represents B2 bar. B2 bar. Next, we have B0. B0. So, this line represents B0. Let us perform under operation. Plus B2 B1. B2 B1. This line represents B2. Next, this line represents B1. Perform the under operation. So, on these two, we have to perform R operation. R operation. This is nothing but E2. Next, let us see about E1. What is the expression for E1? B1 bar, B0 bar. 
B1 bar. So, this line represents B1 bar. Next, this line represents B0 bar. Perform the and operation. Plus B1, B0. B1, B0. B1. Yeah, this line represents B1. This line represents B1. And this line represents B0. Perform the and operation. On these two, we need to perform R operation. This is nothing but A1. Next, what is the formula for E0? B0 bar. B0 bar. So, this line represents B0 bar. So, this is nothing but E0. So, in this way, we can convert a 4-bit BCD to access 3.